Hello, welcome. This is Simlosis, and here's my views on E3D's Light 6 All Metal Hot End. And here is the old hot end I used to have the peak body, that gap between the heater block and the body itself leaked. Here is a few examples of E3D's hot end. The green top one was the first print I ever made with this printer. It's a, I think it's a Prusa i3 make or grab a i3. The ramps board. The current print I have. And here, the blue one. It's the E3D's print off. Here is another example of my one of my early prints before I received the E3D's hot end. As you can see, it's not very good quality. Look at that mess. But at the time, it doesn't serve its purpose. And even with loads of cleaning out, it still left all that. And here's E3D Light 6. As you can see, hardly any cleanup was needed. All the letters are clear. And even the back was nice and tidy. And this little beauty. The camera tripod is what I used to film some of this video with. All printed with E3D's Light 6 hot end. even has the iPhone 4 mount, both of Thingiverse. The only change I made was that disc right here, as it was too loose when the phone was in. Here is another print I made today. It's not dual extruded. Although that would be nice. So in my opinion, I really think E3D's Light 6 Hot End was the best purchase I ever made. For £21.50, you get an excellent hot end. And no leakages from something like this. Although this did produce some very good prints, that still is nowhere near as good as the metal hot end. I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching. This is Simlosis out. Here's the finished product. The bottom half of Microfusion Cell from Fallout 3 game.